Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Hess and about maybe two weeks ago we were working on this Power Automate flow that filled out a template and we were using the premium version with the word connector. So we populated word using these templates here and you can see when I load it up I have in some information, you know, I have the invoice number. We did it based on whether this completed field was complete or not. So I started getting questions about, okay, how to add an image. So let's add an image and let's keep it simple. I'm just gonna keep it simple for these videos and then maybe if you wanna go further, Shane Young does have a Base64 video where he goes into you know coding all the Base64. I have one too, it's pretty old. But for now, let's keep it simple and create a template with an image. Okay, so based on my last video, I have a template here stored in SharePoint. I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna actually open it up in the app. I'm gonna open it up in Word, the client. So let me open it up in the client. So we have my document here and we have a logo. We wanna change the logo to a picture that we want. So I'm gonna to go to the developer tab and we turned that on in the previous video. And right here is picture content control. I'm gonna highlight that logo and I'm gonna click picture content control. Now what's very important is your picture is gonna reshape, reshape and resize itself based on the way it looks. So if I resize it like this, like a square, it's gonna come through as a square. If I resize it you know, horizontally, it's gonna stretch out that image for you. So I'm gonna try and make it square because that's what my image is right now. So we have our picture content control. I'm gonna go back to the developer tab. I'm gonna to go to properties. I'm gonna give it a name and a title. So maybe logo image. I'm gonna put that in the tag too. And then because it's a template, I'm gonna say, you know, you can't delete this uh, content control. I'm not gonna let you delete it if you accidentally go into the template. Okay, so now you can see that it's now named logo image. And I'm just gonna do save as. I'm gonna save it in the same spot. Okay, so now I have my template. It's in the same spot. And now we have the logo here that is actually a picture control. So we're gonna fill that in now. All right, so let's go to Power Automate and let's do this the simple way first. Very, very simple. This is the flow that we created last time. And this time I'm gonna to go to document here. I'm gonna change the file to the one with the picture. So we set all this up in the previous video. If you wanna learn all that, go to the other video. I'm gonna set it up with the picture content control and I'm, then I'm gonna hit show all, right? Cause it says seven of eight. So I'm gonna click show all, and now we have our logo image. Now, where are we gonna get this logo image? Let's store a picture in our SharePoint library. With my picture now stored in my template library, I'm just gonna pull that into Power Automate. Right before we populate the template, let's get the file. So I'm just gonna say get file, and we're gonna go through SharePoint because that's where I stored it. I'm gonna say get file using path. I'm just gonna make it super simple right now. All right, so where is it stored? It's stored in my invoice SharePoint site. The path is in my template library, and it's right here, a, a happy man with a rabbit, okay? And then everything else we're gonna leave. Now we're gonna go to the populate a word template, and we're gonna populate it with the file content of the path, okay? And then I'm just gonna hit save. And that's it, that's all we do to add this image. We're not making it dynamic, we're just making a simple logo that we're gonna put in our form. All right, so we're gonna go to our list, and this is something we did last time. Based on the file, if it's completed or not, it's going to run, so I'm gonna create a new file. All right, so I filled it out. So I'm gonna hit save, okay? Refresh, we now have our line item in here. So now let's go back to our flow, and let's run it. So I'm gonna do, so I can just manually run this. So I'm going to test it manually, and only the one that is not complete will run. And if we'll look at our SharePoint, um, only the one that's not complete is going to run. So if we refreshed, you notice how it changed, right, to complete, because that's part of our flow process. Now we're gonna to go to our document library, and this is where our new file was created. And the new file was created, even though it's taken a little bit of time, the image is there. We'll just wait a few seconds. There it is. We now have our, our man with the rabbit now loaded into our document. That's how easy that was. That is using Microsoft Word, Connector, 
and it is premium. So this is a premium, but we're only paying for one license because we're doing it on a schedule. Okay, so we have all that working. Let's go to Power Apps and, and do some neat things there. All right, so I'm going to Power Apps. I have a, a blank form here. And this form is gonna to connect to my data source. Let's connect to our data source. So SharePoint, yep, and it's my invoice one, invoice SharePoint, and we'll start with the invoice list. All right, and then we'll do the data source as our invoice list. Okay, and I'm not gonna use the attachments here. Now what, I, what else I wanna do is I wanna to connect to that library. So I'm gonna also connect to SharePoint and that's gonna be my template library. Now we could make this a different library. I think maybe we should do that. We'll, we'll call this an image library. Let's create one of those in SharePoint. So I'm gonna to go to site contents. It's actually a document library and we'll call it my images. And then I'll put two uh, images in here. All right, so I have two images in a library called My Images. So you can see I have one image here, and then I have a second image here. So just some simple images. They're different. One is a man with a rabbit, and the other is a rabbit man. Okay, so we'll go back to Power Apps. Now, I'm going to create a connection to that library. So the same SharePoint list, it's going to be My Images. It's my document library. We're going to connect to that. All right, so you can see we have a new form here. We can fill out some information. This is the not complete, complete. This is the same information that we had on our list before. But now what I wanna do is I want another field here. I want another field to pull from the list of pictures. So I'm gonna to come to my invoice list and it's gonna be my invoice list here. I'm gonna create a new field. And it's just gonna be a text field. And it's gonna be my image name. It's actually like the path, but we're just gonna say my image name, okay? All right, so we have a new field here called my image name. We'll come back to Power Apps, and we will add that field after we refresh our data source. All right, so my image name. All right, so we have my image name. Now, if we know the image name, this will be very easy for us. But maybe we don't know the, the name, but let's try it out first since we know one of the image names. And you can see one is named right here. Let's, let's make it simple. We'll just call it Happy Man, okay? So we have an image name called Happy Man. I'm gonna create a button and this button is going to submit. So it's just a button. So I'm just gonna have a simple form with a big save button and this save button is just going to submit form one. So let's fill one out. We're gonna do, you know, happy man. But we'll select some stuff in there. Maybe we won't populate everything, not complete. And this is gonna be happyman.jpg. So we know the name of the file, right? So if we go to look at the file right here, it's happyman.jpg. We just know that. We're gonna test something out. I'm gonna save. It's gonna to write to SharePoint. So here's my new one, happy man, with information in there, and the my image name is now happyman.jpg. Okay, so now let's go back to Power Automate. And right here, we did the get file content using path. So we found it at this path before, we put it in our template library, but we have a new library now, and it's called my images. And this is where we stored the happyman.jpg. And so when I click on it, you can see it's my images, happyman.jpg. So I'm gonna erase this, and I'm gonna replace it with that column that we, we inserted. So this is gonna be my images, my image name. And we can see that we have my images slash my image name. And in the populate, we're gonna make sure that it is getting the right file content. So it's getting right here from the file content using path. I'm gonna hit save and test and this should be able to pull in the path. So now we'll test, manually trigger, save, and run. So we're testing, we're running, we're running. We have that new line item from Power Apps. So let's go to our documents now. 
And we can see we have a new one here, happyman.docs. We open it up. We can see it did populate with that image. And so we could do it with the other image too. So let's go to our other images. Let's change the, the name to shorter. All right, so we have happy man and rabbit man. So now let's pull in that information, the name in Power Apps. So in Power Apps, now we're going to do a lookup here. And instead of it being a data card, I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to insert a dropdown. Or maybe even, let's do a combo box. I'm going to do a combo box. So the combo box is going to come from my images. I'm going to come over here to fields, edit, add field. I'm going to find file name with extension. And I'm going to remove title. So remove title. I'm going to hit play to check it out. So we can see I have happy man and rabbit man. So it's pulling in that extension. Isn't that amazing? Okay, so now let's fix these red X's. This red X is just a Y value. It's saying, hey, set that up. I'm just going to get rid of that. We don't need to set up the Y value. I'm fine. The update property we do need to update. So instead of data card 10 dot value, we're going to call it combo box canvas one dot selected dot file name with extension. So now we're literally pulling in the file name with an extension. So let's create a new item. So my rabbit man logo will fill all this in. Let me fill it in real quick. I'm going to select the rabbit man and I'm going to hit save. So now we've written to SharePoint. It's pulling in the file name with extension, right? So we have a new line item in SharePoint. Now we're going to run our Power Automate flow on everything that's not complete on a Monday. So we're going to go to Power Automate and we're going to test it. Test, manual, test, and we're going to run. And this is keeping it simple. We're not doing all that you know, base 64, we're not converting anything. We're literally getting the file name with extension and just adding our path. So when we go to SharePoint and we go to our documents and now we have my rabbit man logo and we open that file, we can see we now have the rabbit man logo in there with all of that information. And to me, that is keeping it simple. Use that file path with Use that file content with path. Now watch this. Let's keep it simple again. We have our card. I'm going to insert an image. Insert the image. The image is going to be related to the dropdown. So the image property up here, I'm going to say combo box canvas one, right? That's the name of our combo box dot selected. And where are we going to get it from? We're going to get it from the link of the image. So let's see, link to item. So now we've populated an image also. So we can select Rabbit Man. It's going to populate. Lighthouse, it's going to populate. So no matter what we put in our SharePoint, we can get an image of it also. And it's going to write that file. Now to me, that's keeping it simple. Now we can simply create a template, have it write, with through one premium license and write those images through SharePoint using the file extension name. So if you like this content, if this was helpful, please like and subscribe. My name is Andrew Hess. If you have more questions, this questions came up through my email and they wanted to do base 64 and everything. I want to keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to use that file content with path, pull that into power automate, use the file extension here and let me view the image. Thank you. I'll see you next time.